And so we're going to be converting this standard form quadratic to vertex form. And what we need to do is generate a perfect square trinomial and get around this issue of having a coefficient in front of the x, x squared term. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to factor a 2 from the first two terms of this trinomial. And when we do that, of course, it becomes y equals 2. And so I'm taking a 2 out of both terms. And so 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. 12x divided by 2 is 6x. And so there, I have an equivalent form for the first two terms. I've just factored a 2 out. And the last thing is the 10 still remains. Now my next job is to make a perfect square trinomial from this part, the x squared plus 6x. And so I end up with y equals 2. And nothing much has changed here. 2x squared plus 6x. X. And if this part is going to be a perfect square, square trinomial, I know that that has to be a plus 9. Now, I can't just willy-nilly add 9 into an equation without changing it. And so after I add it in, I'm going to subtract it out. And there's my expression after making a perfect square trinomial. Now, I've successfully generated my perfect square trinomial. That's it there, x squared plus 6x plus 9. But I have this negative 9 inside the bracket, and I'm going to have to remove that from the bracket. And I need to be careful when I do that. And the reason I need to be careful is that everything in this bracket is multiplied by 2. And so if I remove the negative 9 from that bracket, when it changes to being outside of the bracket, it's actually a minus 18. And the reason it's a minus 18 is I had to multiply the negative 9 times the 2 in front of the bracket. So now I have my perfect square trinomial right where I want it. What I'm going to do next is I am going to convert it to a binomial squared. And so I can remove this part and put in an equivalent form, which is x plus 3 all squared. I can also simplify this portion, which is minus 18 plus 10, into a negative 8. And now I know exactly what my parabola looks like based on its vertex form. 